glad you're here. I'm so glad he's here. I'm expecting a great time together tonight. Hallelujah.
bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. He is our strong and mighty tower. He is the rock of our salvation. Woo! You can keep your feet on that rock and never fall off. All other ground, the word says, is sinking sand. so good to be here tonight. It's so good to welcome you into our Mayberry Studios here and to worship together for an hour and just experience life with Jesus. This really is an hour with Jesus. We've gotten comments from all over the world how they have met with Jesus during this hour. That, that warms my heart because that's exactly and only what this program was designed for to meet with the Savior. So thank you, those of you who are faithful, for tuning in every week over these last many months. We're expecting uh, a greater year coming up in 2021 as His presence continues to draw us and the intensity of His Spirit just grows and grows and grows in this very important hour. Well, praise the Lord. Tonight, it's a special night. Why? Because we have a live audience. Hi, audience. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> and tonight, as you can already see, Miss Liz has found a place in that warm group of people. And by the way, the last two weeks, it hasn't been warm because we got the air conditioner fixed. All is right with the world again. It's not 90 degrees here. So uh, after several weeks of waiting on the right part to be sent, which was wrongly sent two different times, uh, we finally got it fixed. And so tonight we are cool, calm, and collected. Well, we're cool. Um, anyway, Joel, let's go to Liz now, and she's going to greet the folks from around the world there in our audience. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in again for another Hour with Jesus here on Wednesday, sort of a special kind of a day also. It's uh, the day before Thanksgiving. For those of you who live in the U.S., that's a really wonderful time for us to celebrate and thank the Lord for all of our blessings. It's one of my favorite holidays. You can keep Christmas. I love Thanksgiving. <laughs> I love Christmas. <laughs> Anyway, so thank you for tuning in. Let's say hello to some of you that have tuned in already, some of our regulars, as I always say. Lydia in North Carolina. There's Tim in uh, Michigan. Luis in Brazil. There's Manuela in the Philippines. Uh, let's see, Shirley in Wisconsin. Hannah in Indonesia. There's Kehau, I hope I pronounced that correctly, in Kailua, Hawaii. There's Mike in California. There's EB in Dubai. We want to go to Dubai. <laughs> and there's uh, someone by the name of Crazy Knife Freak. That's a little weird. Uh, his name is Peter, and he's in Florida. Uh, there's Elo Hay in uh, New Jersey. Gareth in England, across the pond there. We have Getty in Ar Argentina. Uh, Wena in Indonesia. And Henriette in the Netherlands. So that's what I have so far. Thank you again for tuning in. And uh, we hope that you enjoy the worship. I will be coming back around to um, make uh, your your. Some I had I had asked you earlier to to give thanks uh, as far as uh, what you were thankful for. So I'll be coming back around to uh, announce those uh, over the air. So back to you, my love. All right, Miss Liz. Yeah, we uh, we want you to think of the most thankful thing you have. In 2021, uh, 2020, you don't have to thank God for 2021 yet. Might not be a bad idea, though. But uh, the thing that you are most thankful for this year, which has been a year like none other in all of our lifetimes, uh, type that up. Liz, is gonna, Liz will read. We'll go back to her in a little while. She'll read several of those. And we might go back to those a couple of times. So I'm going to keep her busy tonight. And uh, But we would love to hear what what 
God has done specially for you during this, this incredible year. Andre Crouch made that, uh, wrote that song and made that so popular. And it's so easy to sing, isn't it? And it just, it just lets you start to think, go back over your life. I always do that. I remember Andre in his concert saying, look back over your life and think about the things God has done for you and give him praise. And I just can go back many, many years and just follow the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living all through life. And I know if you've served him for any length of time, you can say the same thing. He is good. The Lord is good. That's a powerful statement. His love, his mercy endure forever. You know, in Second Chronicles, that's when the glory fell, when the people got their eyes off of everything else and started to just proclaim the goodness of the Lord. That's when the glory was so strong, it filled the temple and the, and the pastor couldn't get up to preach. The priest, it says, could not stand and minister. It was their turn on the docket and they couldn't get up because the glory of the Lord had filled the house of God. Oh, I want that kind of glory. I've experienced it a few times in my life. 
I want it much, much more. I hope you do too. Praise the Lord. Well, this is a kind of a different song. It's from Nigeria. And um, we've heard them sing it. Liz kind of caught my attention with it a couple of years ago. I don't do it like the Nigerians. You know why? I got none of that in me. I don't got the Nigerian beat, folks. It's never going to happen. I'm the wrong color to start with, I think. So there's that. But um, uh, this is just kind of a, a song that goes with the, the thought of Thanksgiving. And um, it says this, What shall I re render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. What shall I render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. All right, and then the middle part goes, Thank you, thank you, Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Now, they sing that in a different language, but I don't know what that is. So I translated that. I talked to them. They said, it really means thank you, Lord. So I kind of made my own little translation. Don't get mad at me. Thank you, thank you, Lord, hallelujah. You, you basically got it.
up the real original performance of that it will really bless you to get into the whole Nigerian beat and the spirit of that service it blesses me every time that I watch it I can't remember the title of it I think uh, Travis somebody baby what's Travis's last name Anyway, he, uh, they just do a great job on that. But I love that. What, what shall I render? Travis. Travis Green, okay. What shall I render? When you've done so much for me, what can I give back to you? That's what the song is talking about. What shall I render to Jehovah? Awesome thought. He just wants your heart first and foremost. Liz, you can get ready over in the audience again, and I'm going to read Psalm 107 as you're doing that. Um, yes, Psalm 107. This is the New International Version tonight. It says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. We were just talking about that. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Those He redeemed from the hand of the foe. Those He gathered from the lands, from east and west, from north and south. Some wandered in desert wastelands, finding no way to a city where they could settle. They were hungry and thirsty, and their lives ebbed away. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their stress. He led them by a straight way to a city where they could settle. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love, amen, and his wonderful deeds for men. For he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Some sat in darkness and the deepest gloom, prisoners suffering in iron chains. For they had rebelled against the words of God and despised the counsel of the Most High. So, see, so he subjected them to bitter labor. They stumbled and there was no one to help. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble and he saved them from their distress. Is that just the mercy of God or what? Wow. Um, he brought them out of darkness and the deepest gloom and broke away their chains. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for men. For he breaks down gates of bronze and cuts through bars of iron. Some became fools and through their rebellious ways and suffered affliction because of their iniquities. They loathed all food and drew near the gates of death. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. <laughs> Do you see the pattern here? God blesses us. We rebel. God judges us and disciplines us and we repent and then god blesses us and then we rebel and then god judges and disciplines us and we repent and then god blesses us what a mighty god we serve if you or i were god we would have torched us eons ago you know it's true People that judge other people do that because if they were in charge, that's the penalty they would impose. Thank God that he doesn't look at us that way. He loves us with an unconditional agape. He loves us because of what his son has already done for us. So he looks through the blood of Jesus, and that's how he loves us so perfectly. I've said it before. I asked God once, how can you love me with all that I've done wrong? He said, it's easy. 
I have no remembrance of your past. Is that a great word? Wow, what a, what a wonderful Savior. What a great God. I am most thankful this year and every year for the unfailing love of God that looks past my sin and sees my need and continues to love me. Mm, he looks beyond my fault, Dottie Rambo wrote, and saw my need. Praise God. All right, I'll stop there, at least for now. I never know what's going to go on, so pay no attention to the piano player. All right, let's go, Lizzie, to your camera and uh, read us a, uh, a few things. Sure, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Lenny here is saying thank you. He's, he thanks God that he has a roof over his head, food on the table, and a son to take care of him. So that's, Amen. that's wonderful. Amen. Okay, I have uh, Lydia again. She's saying, I thank God that I have all and abound, and he shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I have uh, Nancy, she's saying, I'm thankful that I have my job through all this craziness and that I have grown closer to Jesus through worship, praise God. Amen, that's great. Okay, I see uh, Christina, she says, thank God for the new job and I, have, um, and I have minding old folk and blessing them too. Okay, I have Robin who's saying he thanks God that he provided just in time at a moment where they had nowhere to stay and he provided for a place to stay in Germany and he trusts that he will provide something else in January. So we pray that along with you, Robin. Robin is our media guy that puts these incredible graphics on our program. Wait till you see next week. He's got special Christmas stuff coming out next week. I can't wait. And at the midnight hour, God supplied a, a place for them to reside this winter. Oh, God's so faithful. Okay, keep going, sweetie. And Josie says, thank God for his mercies and compassion over my family and life, a new job and settlement. Uh, let's see. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Christina says, thank God for my niece in Italy, got shared custody for her baby and got to be his mom again. So that's always wonderful. Jam, Jamfer here says, a thankful that God has protected and all me and all of my family and extended family from COVID. And that's always good. Christina says, thank you, Jesus, for forgiving me of every sin in my past, present, and future. Amen. All right. Okay, I think that's it so far. Let's uh, continue to type those things in, and we'll read some more in a little while. All right? Praise God.
Jesus. I never sing that song, but thinking of the worship scene in heaven. A thousands and thousands, and ten thousand times ten thousand. Oh, the sound, Lord, of a hundred million voices. That's what ten thousand times ten thousand is. Thank you. 
Isn't it amazing how giving God praise leads you right into worship? You can't help but go from praise to adoration to worship. <laughs> it just does. I mean, you just start thinking of the goodness of God and what he's done. You see, we praise God for what he's done, and then we worship God for who he is. Simple little formula. We give thanks and praise for all the blessing of the Lord. Food on our table, health in our bodies, sound mind. Every good and perfect gift comes from above. We give God praise for those things. Roof over our heads. Employment. Friends, friendships. Liz and I were in Charlotte this last weekend visiting friends and going to a really cool church down there. Doing a couple other things, just a getaway. And what a rich fellowship we just shared with friends. That's a blessing and a half. But then we move into worship, and it's no longer, thank you for doing this, this, and this. It's, oh, Lord, you're so beautiful. <laughs> you are altogether lovely. You are the king of all kings, Jesus. You're the Lord of all lords. You're the lion of the tribe of Judah. You're the alpha and the omega. You are he who was and is and is to come. And you just worship him. You, worship is a response to who God is. You're just giving back. And that's why he made you. God had kids to give his love away and to receive love back. Praise God. All right, sweetie, we're going to go back over there again. And... Um, I want you to read a few more, but I also want our audience to also participate. And you can pass that microphone around and uh, go from there. Okay, I have uh, Sharon here, and she's saying, by faith, I thank God for the prodigal children he is bringing home, and I pray that along with you. There is a Celtic warrior. He says, thankful for Christ Jesus rescuing me from the nightmare of a traumatic brain injury wow. I have. A beautiful, understanding, patient Christian wife. Praise God. Also, uh, Luis is uh, thankful for the most uh, thankful in 2020. God is protecting his people in this pandemic time. Amen. Lydia is, says she thanks God for her son who was promoted twice through this recession and double digit unemployment rate. And hold on one second. I have Linda Small. Thank you, Lord, for choosing to reveal yourself to me and for baptizing me with the Holy Spirit. There is Linda Palmer, our good friend, and she says, I thank God for three weeks now, Gary, her husband, who was diagnosed with uh, stage four pancreatic cancer. At the end of October, my husband has been pain-free with no weakness to God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Great report, All Linda. Right. Let me go around and see if anybody is wants to say that they're thankful for anything <laughs> in particular. You know I'm going to look at you because you're right next to me. <laughs> Everybody's nervous because they're not usually on camera for one thing. Well, I am thankful that the Lord has kept me healthy and met all of our needs in 2020. Amen. Amen. It's a good thing. Yes. I'm just thankful for my wonderful wife and family and um, for God just pouring down his blessing and bringing us peace and love and protection all year. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Trevor. Anyone else? Raise your hand so she can walk to you. Kim's always thankful for something. <laughs> After being single for 14 years, I'm so thankful that the Lord brought me this wonderful, godly man. And we celebrated five years of marriage this week. Oh, praise the Lord. I don't know if I want to give it to him or not. <laughs> uh, I'm very thankful for Debbie, who sings beautifully and right on pitch and uh, covered me up in our singing. <laughs> but there are... I just thought about the uh, the blessings that we have that we talked about tonight 
and uh, so many things get covered over, uh, as Terry said, that um, we have been cleansed through the blood of the Lamb. Amen. It's a good word, Doug. I'm thankful to be here tonight because uh, 14 years ago I discovered Terry's music and I've been worshiping daily with that music for 14 years. Uh, it's downloaded on an ancient iPod and it's it has failed three times and I always command it to start working again <laughs> and it does. <laughs> so I'm really glad to be here. Okay. Thank you. I'm just thankful to be here, especially with people that have a heart for worship. What, what better way to spend Thanksgiving than worshiping the Lord with people that are hungry for his presence? Amen. Anyone else? Anyone else? Thank you, Robbie. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like I'm on the Oprah show. <laughs> I'm just thankful for the word and the truth of the word. And in the times that we live in, Everything seems to be so unshakable, or so shakable, but the one thing that's not shakable is the Word of God. Amen. And uh, the work that I do as a, as a career, um, I'm so thankful for our Psalm 91 promise. Amen. That, Psalm that He protects me yes. and covers me. Um, I, I work as a nurse, and I, I deal with COVID patients every time I work. And I pray over those patients. And to me, it's not just a career, it's a ministry. Amen. And I thank God for his, for his divine protection. Praise God. I think Psalm 91 has been the most valuable psalm this year, the MVP of the psalms. We have clung to that, haven't we? Amen. And I am thankful for all the blessings that we have been given throughout the year and uh, through all the time that Terry and I have been together, he has given uh, me specifically things I never even asked. Uh, <laughs> so I am very, very thankful. Um, and I uh, am thankful that the Lord will bring my children back to him. So that's Amen. my prayer. Amen. Yeah. We are in agreement with that. All right. So back to you, Terry, or do you want me to? Uh, did you have any others to read or, or not? Only if you'd like me to. Hold on. A couple. Okay. A few. Sure. We got time. I'd like to include as many as we can. Sure. Okay. Uh. Liz and I are coming up on our 10th anniversary in a couple of weeks, and um, that has zoomed by at breakneck speed. Not that she's wanted to break my neck, but. <laughs> well, well. Maybe once in a while. <laughs> now that you say that. Okay, I have uh, Kathy here who says she thanks the Lord for difficult, uh, that he took her through difficult times, but she's had worship music to carry her through. This year has been difficult, but thank God I, I'm here drawing closer to the Lord. Yeah. Amen. All right, that's all I see right now. Okay, back to you, Ter. Another thank you. He's wearing Vikings color. <laughs> oh, uh, Doug wants me to <laughs> thank just, you for wearing a Vikings color. <laughs> just ignore him. Whatever that means is a sports thing. <laughs> the Packers rule. <laughs>
to leave you it would have been at the cross do you understand that he could have called legions of angels to come and rescue him but because of love he stayed right there and completed the greatest sacrifice of all time so that you and I could know the father you can't get there outside of Jesus. If you're watching tonight and you're from some other religion, understand the truth. You cannot get to the Father except through the Son. Only the blood is our transport to the Father. And oh, that door is wide open for you tonight. At this holiday season, right at the beginning, Maybe it's time to make a brand new commitment. Maybe you've strayed from him. Or maybe you've gone to church all your life, but he's never been the Lord of your life. It's time to lay aside all those weights that pull you down and receive the free gift of salvation tonight. I hope you will. I hope you already have. Jesus is standing there with open arms. He did not come to condemn the world. Aren't we glad? But he came to save the world. I think the greatest verse in the New Testament was spoken by John the Baptist when he said, that wasn't John, the, yes, John the Baptist when he said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Friends, Jesus paid it all. All to him we owe. Give him your heart fresh and anew tonight. You might have served him for 50 years like I have. Probably almost 60 years I've served him. Give him your heart fresh and anew. Let him take that brand new place once again at, of first love. And you'll never regret it. Let us walk closer to him in 2021 than we ever have in our lives. We're probably going to need to with what lies ahead. That's what I think. God is good. God loves us. Jesus is the Lord of all lords. God bless you. Um, uh, let's go back to Lizzie to say good night now. Amen. Well, thank you again for uh, tuning in to be with us in Hour with Jesus on Wednesdays today with the audience, which was such fun. Everybody say, Praise Jesus! Amen. It's always nice when you have a congregation around you of like-minded people. Amen. Don't forget to visit our website at www.newglory.org. And there you will find all of Terry's products, his CDs, and the book. And also, if you are led to make a one-time gift, please hit the uh, donate tab there. And also, uh, if you'd like to become a glory partner, there is the information is on there as well. So we thank you for any financial support that you may uh, throw our way. We certainly appreciate that. Also, 
If you are new to our YouTube channel and like to become part of our An Hour with Jesus family, hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell that lets you know when we are live or when we've uploaded a new one. So thanks again for being with us and happy Thanksgiving for those of you in the U.S. And uh, God bless uh, to everyone else that has tuned in and we'll see you again next Wednesday. So God bless.